25,000 experience. Get a level up from Ellie. And we got a new gun. That's most likely for Billy's gear. Uh, if you remember before, the gear's name is Ren Mazuo. Thank you for helping me, everyone. To be honest, that was too dangerous for me on my own. No shit, Sherlock. I couldn't have done it without you. Is your job always this dangerous? I never thought you would call it gear. What in the hell is the ethos thinking anyway? The etones are merely fulfilling our divine mission. Shut up, dude. Sorry, who was wrong of me to say that? Don't take it so seriously. So, you're going to report back to the ethos about your job's results, right? Well, if you like, we shall give you a ride to ethos headquarters. It's on our way. That would be great, so long as it doesn't put you out. I have something to give you as a sign of my gratitude, so please accompany me into the ethos headquarters. Let's go! Have anything more to say? I can go any time. Awesome. That actually kind of scares me a little bit. But I think uh, we don't actually need to do anything here, so let's go ahead and go. Yes, let's launch the Yggdrasil. And now, actually, wait, are the gears healed? Well, they are now because I went back into the ship. That's all it takes. And ta-da, full heal. This would be a great time to level up Billy's death blows. I don't know if I want to do that yet, though. This way. Before we do head to the Ethos headquarters, though, I do have one small side trip I want to take. Can I squeeze through there? Please let me thank you. I want to go back to the orphanage because there are a couple more items that we can get there now. Back to the orphanage. It is. All the enemies here are the same. But like I said, this would be a great time to level up Billy's death blows if you really wanted to do that. But he's at a good spot right now. I don't think I need to do that immediately. So let's head back into the orphanage. Led by Billy this time. Just for a quick sidetracking moment. Yeah, you didn't think there was a gear under here, did you? You were wrong. The orphanage is full of factory workers that work on gears non-stop, apparently. They're just they're all little mechanics. So if you have all three books, like I got the first time we were here, you can slide them in here. This is the room I remember. Let's, let's go in. Push it. Come on, let's go. Oh, small little room here. But you open the treasure chest to get BNJM686 gone. This is Father's. Reminds me of long ago. Let's take a look at it. It's ranked double A. Awesome. And it automatically comes with one ammo, which raises his attack immensely. It doubles it. I mean, that's, an, that's insane. Each ammo gives you 100 shots. So like I said, I probably gave him... I probably bought way too many. Way too many of the other handgun shots. But that's okay. I thought it was one hit and they're, they're cheap. I mean, they're cheap. And that's all we have to do here. But you know, now that I think about it, I, I think I actually do want to do some level, uh, some uh, death blow grinding with Billy, uh, taking a look at what he's got right now. I mean, he, he hasn't even learned, uh, well, I mean, he's two behind already, and everybody else already has their seventh fully learned, so I'm going to make him catch up, and uh, I'll meet you when I'm done. Be right back. Oh, we do have a new enemy here. I have no idea what it's called. It's a ripper, and it uses salt. And it sprinkles salt on Satan. He's trying to cook him. No. They would really get a turn. He is so slow. All right, just using all his normal attacks, trying to level up his death blows. Salt again. Hopefully, 
make this hit so I can actually show you what it does, but no, it doesn't want to hit. Ugh, it's so slow. Come on, this is your next death blow. You better learn how to do this right. 182 more damage. <sighs> oh, he... He ate him. That's gross, dude. Come on, one more. This should be enough to finish the job, shouldn't it? If not, screw it, I'm using death blows. Now, he's still inside. Damn it. Beat Billy through the stomach. He's still alive now. Time to use Bright Spark. 426 more. Down he goes. Where'd Billy go? Did I lose Billy forever? He does not gain experience for that. That's, that's disappointing. Alright, yeah. Meet you once again after all the death blows. Unless I can find another new enemy, then I'll show you that. And we do have new enemies here. I have no idea what these guys are called, but they look like little... They look like bad Pokemon. It's a planner! Oh, snap! He used Razor Leaf on me. Come on, Billy. Show him what you got! 179... Not enough for the win. So it looks like Ellie's gonna have to take this out. Using her most powerful death bow! Which turns him into like a pineapple. Damn it, Satan, why are you so fast? Accuracy down. Oh no! Have we shown off all of, all of Ellie's death blows? I might have missed one. I feel like I did. Let's see. Oh! Yeah, we should sky attack, didn't we? If not, here it is. And down goes the planter. They give us biz fruit. I forgot what biz fruit is. Let's take a look. Once the screen goes. Biz fruit restores 10 EP out of battle. And we have yet another new enemy here. Should have brought Rico along so we could show off his death as well. Now that I think about it. These are little Alamanges. And they suck. Apparently. Come on, Billy. Learn your death blow. 182 damage. Not enough for the win. I think he did show double shock. But I like it. And that is enough for the win there. Got an eyeball for our troubles. Nice. Alright, in here, we do have a new enemy. I have completed all the death blow grinding that I wanted to do today. Uh, this is a mammoth, though. These things are a beast. Yes, Satan, even though he's faster than everybody else, character-wise, in the gear, he is not as fast as the gears. Yeah, I've spent a lot of ammo. Let's take a look at Skywalker. You can't really see it because it's a gear-sized enemy, but usually everybody will float. That's why they call it the Skywalker. He sits on the gr he lays on the ground and shoots him up in the air. It's pretty cool, actually. Let's see how much damage I can do. It's just 150 or so. That's all right. I know that he's going to take a while. Last one I have here is Devil Blast. Oh! Two shots! At once. Still doesn't do that much damage, though. This guy is a tank. But, 
Now that we're level attack level two, we can start busting out some of the death blows. 788 damage. And Fujin. A thousand. Over a thousand. And down he goes. And now that Satan is up to level 46. I don't know if you guys caught that. He did learn the level 7 death blow. So let's take a look at that. It is Oogie. That's how I'm going to say that. And it's XX, which is awesome. So let's go back into the Yggdrasil. And I'm going to heal up for just one second, and then we'll make our way to the Ethos headquarters. Actually, this is the perfect time to upgrade Ren Mazuo. Now that we actually have access to all his equipment, his engine is fine, but I know his frame can definitely go up. Look at that. 6,000 to 7,200. He does have the best armor out there. Heal him up. Let's see what weapons we've got. Got quite a few ammo in here, but I believe that I want to get this one right here. We'll get we'll get ten of each just to be on the safe side. I have a ton of money right now, so I'm not too concerned about it. In terms of parts, it doesn't look like there's really anything new here, so we're good. We're good. Let's try to equip them. Come again, yeah. Whatever. Equipping and might as well. Alright, we want to change the gun, right, to the M686 and then get that ammo on him. Looks like the attack goes up by 24, which is definitely worthwhile. Big gun! Yeah, we, we only have the one ammo for that right now. But in terms... He's got a B circuit? Ew. Let's, let's get rid of that. Put on response circuit. So does the frame plus or the, the frame HP by 50. We're gonna just give him more defense for now. Um, in terms of the frame HP, I like to do 30 because it seems to be a round number. That um, That's a good balance between actual fuel and the HP of your gear. I don't like doing the 10, it doesn't seem like enough, and 50 just consumes way too much gear uh, of your gear's fuel. So now, it is time to head back up to the bridge so that we can head to the Ethos headquarters. I'm, sti I'm gonna stick with this party, I know we still haven't seen Rico in a while, and probably need to show off some of the more the other death blows from everybody else, but I like this party for the setup right now. Shall we launch the Yggdrasil? Yes, we shall. And we're gonna head back to the Ethos headquarters. Uh, just a little sidetrack, you know, going to going to the orphanage, but I think it's worth it because it does give him the upgraded uh, weapon and the, you know upgrade attack for Billy. And since you have to have Billy in your party right now. I highly suggest you go back. It's not hard, you know, especially since you can heal after every battle. It's just time consuming, that's it. It's not too far of a, of a drive, though, or boat ride, whatever you want to call it, uh, to, the, to the orphanage, so I think it's definitely well worth your time. So we're back at the Edo's headquarters almost once, once we turn this corner, it looks like. Oh, and we do finally meet the last enemy up here on the water. This is the air walk. I, I don't know why it's called that. You basically just use your strongest attacks on it, unless you're Billy, and when it's Billy I like to use square because that's unlimited ammo. Not enough for the win though. The 492 is once again because I'm on the Yggdrasil I'm not too concerned about these battles as long as you survive one of them, you should be good, you know what I mean? Because you can easily go back into the episode and heal up whenever you feel like it. That should be enough for the win right there. Down go the airwalks. Get 4600 experience. As you can see, Ellie leveled up 
to level 46, so she does have the new death blow for her as well. All right, making it to the Ethos headquarters. Yeah, I, I believe the Ren Mazua is the only one with a cape that we ever come across, the only gear with a cape. I, I don't think it makes them look any better. What the hell? This, what happened here? Billy. Are you alright? What happened? I don't know. Suddenly, I heard a gunshot. Hey, hang in there. Hey! It's no use. He can't survive with those wounds. Why did this happen? This is... This is Father Shell Casey. Damn it, don't tell me he struggles into the Ethos headquarters in desperation. Is it, it is possible with him. But it looks like we're going to have to take this on next time. I hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.